everybody! Before we get started into this, I want to thank my friends over at Matter Hackers for sponsoring this build. When I started working on this back in November, December, I sent them a picture of what I thought this was going to look like when it was finished. I had done a basic model up in Fusion 360, it wasn't perfect yet, but they saw the potential in it and they decided to send me two rolls of their Pro PLA filament. And that filament has made a really big difference. I printed the prototype for this in standard PLA and then this in the Pro PLA, and the difference is night and day. I really enjoyed it. If you want to get a hold of some yourself, I'm including my affiliate link down below, so full disclosure, purchasing it through that does give the channel a bit of a kickback, but I think you'll be really happy with the way it prints, because I know I am. So this is what I'm calling the print and play. I spent a lot of time trying to think of a name that was more suiting than the name of my channel, but th that's really what this is. You print it, and then you get to play with it. There have been other people that have done 3D printable arcade cabinets before, but I set out to try and make it nice and simple, to make it look really nice, and to make it print in as few parts as possible on a standard sized bed. So all these parts will fit onto your standard 8x8x8 print surface. And the control system here features a Sanwa style joystick, and I used 24mm instead of the 30mm standard buttons so that I could get more real estate and get buy buttons onto the front as well as the two buttons in the front, so you have your start button and your select button or coin insert or whatever, depending on what you're using. I've got a 7-inch LCD, and one of the things that screams arcade to me is to have a lit up marquee at the top. Now, I don't have the artwork for it yet, but I really wanted to make sure that I could have lighting on the top and have a nice display up here. The entire thing is powered by an Orange Pi PC. It's a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core board with a gig of RAM, and it takes a micro SD card and I picked the PC version because it also has analog audio out. That makes it much easier to wire up the two speakers, so as you can see I have speakers on the side, and I've wired in volume control into the back. I'm very happy with the audio quality that's been coming out of it. It's very immersive and it's exactly what you need for this type of setup. I've picked the components so everything can run off 5 volts, so a 2.5 or 3 amp power supply is all you need to power the entire thing, which means you don't have to mess around with wiring mains voltage or anything like that, you can just put a jack on the back, plug it in and call it a day. The base of the unit prints as one piece except for the control panel, and the top prints as another piece except for the bezel on the screen. I've designed it in such a way that you can pick two colors and they meet up with this nice V which really covers up the fact that it's two separate pieces and makes it more stylistic. Gameplay on it has been great so far, it does need a little bit of tweaking to get better performance out of some of the games. I've gone through the arcade games which play the best as well as Game Boy games but some of the later Super Nintendo titles do seem to chug a little bit but I will be working on that. A group of people ported Retro Pie to the Orange Pie and named it Retro Orange Pie and it runs quite well and gives you a nice, easy to use interface. So I really wanted to take some time to show it to you guys and let you know that starting next week I am going to be posting a two or three part build series on how to build your own and I will be releasing these parts for you to print free on Thingiverse so that you can build your own. And this is just the first in a line of ones I'm planning to build. I also want to start building cabinets that look like actual arcade cabinets, so like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, that kind of thing. And they'll all be 3D printable and they'll be targeted for either the 8x8 bed or the bed on the CR10 which is 12x12x16. So keep an eye out for the build series that'll start next week and uh, let me know if you plan to build one in the comments below. So if you want to help support me in future builds so I can produce more of these and more designs, I have set up a Patreon account and you can find that in the description below. Shopping through any of the affiliate links down below also gives a kickback to the channel which helps me produce better content for you guys. If you have suggestions for how to make this better, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay creative.